This video shows the moment a driver lost control, plowed through a yard in Platte County, and then punched a hole in the garage of the house next door, causing thousands of dollars in damage. The video then shows the driver leave the scene seconds later as if nothing had happened. Fox 4's Russell Colburn live on Northwest 66 Terrace tonight with a story you'll see only on Fox 4. Russ, that was a month ago. The driver still hasn't been caught. Yeah, and neighbors here worry it could happen again. Take a look. Cosby here comes to a T with no warning. There's no stop signs out here, so people here have asked the city to make certain improvements. With this case, the driver somehow came off the road, lost control, managed to miss that pole in that tree, went through the neighbor's yard. You can see the elevation change from here. So they went airborne into that garage where the plywood is now. A rude awakening in a Platte County neighborhood. A sound of breaking glass like you've never heard before. A driver comes screeching down North Cosby Avenue through a yard and smashes into the garage of the home next door. Seconds later, the driver backs out and proceeds down Northwest 66 Terrace like nothing happened. He went through here and then he went through the front here next to my landscaping. Kathy Lucenti captured it all on her ring doorbell camera, which she shared with police. It happened around 2.30 a.m. the morning of April 7th. More than a month later, no arrests for this hit and run that did thousands in damage. So I went back in and I looked at my ring camera and it had captured the video. I was just in absolute shock. I couldn't even believe it. Oh, scary. I mean, the screeching tires coming around the corner Good Lord, it was, it was awful. Sue Frederick and her husband Jim, a World War II veteran, live in the home that was struck. You can see the vehicle punched a hole in their garage. Weeks later, boards cover the damaged area. They say it did $10,000 in damage. They have a $1,500 deductible, but on a fixed income, it's the last thing they need. Based on a recovered oil pan, police believe the vehicle is a 2018 to 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Neighbors collected other pieces of the vehicle left behind. They've also checked with repair shops and nearby bars for any information or video, and still a month later, no answers. I just wished someone would own up to it. They surely knew what they did. And back out here live, I have asked the city if there's any plans for improvements out here. We'll let you know what we hear back. As you heard, police looking for a 2018 to 2022 silver or gray Jeep Grand Cherokee. Russell Colburn, Fox 4, working for you.